What's good, y'all? Super Ross back at again with another video. So I wanted to talk to y'all about what I've been seeing on social media from the aftermath of uh, Crown Jewel, specifically talking about Roman Reigns getting pinned by Solo Sokoa. I've seen a few people that are not happy about this. I've seen some people saying, oh, Roman, he's being buried. I'm not liking the fact that Roman's being buried. And y'all know how wrestling fans can be, especially if they're a fan of a particular wrestler. Soon as that wrestler loses, they are all of a sudden buried. But we ignore the fact that prior to that wrestler was winning a lot of matches. I don't, I don't understand the logic there. But I wanted to discuss that and kind of try to, you know, I guess give another perspective for some of those fans that feel like Roman Reigns shouldn't have taken a pin from uh, Solo Sokoa. Here's the thing. We got to remember Roman Reigns for about three years straight was the most dominant wrestler in wwe they had booked him like the final boss before we got the final boss in the rock they booked him as this ultimate heel villain who happens to be pretty cool and people you know enjoyed his character work but the guy had been winning matches for over three years he has one of the longest reigning titles uh, WWE title reigns of all time so it's okay for him to lose now it's fine that's part of the story it's it's really crazy that some people think he's buried or they're burying him or they're ruining him because he took a pin to be honest with you this is his first pin that he's taken since he came back and let's be even more transparent with what's happening here. Solo needed that. Solo needed that pin. It's simple. They're trying to extend this out all the way to Survivor Series. Most likely uh, the OG bloodline going against the new bloodline in War Games. It makes no sense for Solo to be pinning Jimmy or Jay. Because at the end of the day, this is for the battle of who is the tribal chief. This is what it's been since Roman has came back. It makes no sense for Solo to be pinning Jimmy or Jay. They are not the tribal chief. They, they weren't their original tribal chief. It was Roman. And I like the fact that the new bloodline, this, this bloodline formed um, by, you know, uh, Solo's vision, even though I think The Rock is pulling all the strings, to be honest with you, they are a more complete team, a more complete faction. And it made sense why the OG Bloodline lost. And it's very simple. They're not on the same page. You saw early in the match, Jay didn't even want to tag in Roman. They're not on the same page. Even when Sammy came out to help, they weren't on the same page. What made the bloodline so good originally because everyone understood Roman was the top guy and everybody was on the same page. The same thing that Solo's doing with the new bloodline, everybody's on one accord. That's why they won and they didn't even really need to cheat. Yes, the ref got knocked down, but they still ended up winning because everybody's on one accord and not the OG bloodline. And that's perfect because things had happened in the time span of what took place before WrestleMania and after WrestleMania. So not everybody should be buddy-buddy. It's going to take some time. And I do think that eventually the one missing piece from this entire equation to make the bloodline come together once again is none other than Paul Heyman. And hopefully we do see him soon before War Games. I think he is the glue. The wise man is the glue to everything originating with the og bloodline and i think once he returns i think they will be on the same page but solo pinning roman was the best thing it was the best decision because roman can eat that pin and still be roman now I, of course roman's not going to be taking multiple pins of course he's not but he can take this pin to extend the story because you're trying to build the idea that Solo is a credible tribal chief. 
how much sense would it have made if Solo pinned Jimmy or Jay? He didn't pin Roman. And you're trying to establish yourself as the tribal chief, so he would have needed to pin Roman. What sense would it have made if they ended up beating Solo in the new uh, uh, bloodline? Then there's no point of war games. So this is why I say when people sit up there and make the brash comment of, oh, they're burying Roman. No, I get it. Roman's your favorite character, your favorite wrestler. He can lose and be okay. My man literally had been winning for three years straight. It's okay if he loses. It's okay. You will be fine. I'm sure Roman will get his win back. It's okay. Some people are freaking out like, oh, this is horrible. It's a travesty. I was shocked the way they did it. I was shocked in how he got pinned for sure. Because he hit him with multiple Samoan spikes. He packed him up like he did John Cena. I was very shocked by that. I thought there was going to be some cheating, but no. And you know what? It gives Solo a little bit more heel credibility. I beat up Roman. I took care of it. Because you got to think of it from, uh, from Jacob Fatu and the Tongans perspective. What if that didn't happen? Why would they still continue to follow a guy they can't beat? The original tribal chief. You understand? So I'm all for this. I think they're making the right. They made the right decision in having Roman get pinned. And we just as as a wrestling community, you got to be patient and understand there's a greater story to tell. I, it's, it's funny how some people just never want Roman to lose. I mean, legitimately, they don't ever want this guy to lose. And it's like, nah, he needs to lose because it helps. It helps Solo. It helps build up that case for this new bloodline to even be a thing. Because you can build off of that. The ultimate goal right now is to get bloodline versus bloodline war games. And what better way to extend that than Roman feeling like, damn, I couldn't beat him? Like, what's going on? Like, what's happening? We have the pieces, but it's not clicking. And here comes the wise man. To put the pieces together. To make everything work. Because he's going to have to be the person to make all of this work. And all the old new bloodline has to do is just sit there and watch them fall apart. It's a classic um, war games type situation. The heels are all, are all on one page. They're all thinking one way to get the job done. The baby faces, they have issues. They have egos. They have problems. How will they coexist? Here comes Paul Heyman. So for everybody thinking that Roman Reigns is buried, calm down. I promise you, he's not. He's still a top guy in the company. He's still a special attraction. He lost to Solo. It's okay. Solo is an important piece into this bloodline situation anyway. If there's anybody that's going to pin him, it would be Solo. It's okay, guys. Um, it's just crazy. Like, I, I love Roman like the next person, but it's okay if he loses, it's not the end of the world. He's not buried. He will be fine. I'm sure they will get their win back. Roman is not the type to lose multiple matches in a row. They're not going to book him that way, even though he's a baby face. It's okay. Sometimes wrestlers need to lose to extend the story and to help the person that just beat them get a little bit more over. In this case, Solo can really heal it up. I beat him. I hit him with multiple Samoan spikes. I put him down. I am the OTC. I am your tribal chief. And we can have Roman fighting from underneath because Roman has, for the past few years, has been the guy that has been at the top and everyone else has to fight from underneath to overcome the odds. Now, the roles are switched. Roman has to come from underneath and fight the odds. And that's always a good story to tell because people want to see Roman succeed. People want to see Roman finally get rid of this bloodline. That's what they want to do. And you don't want to give someone that too soon, especially not at Crown Jewel. You know, this is going to be something that culminates in the States, man. So, hey, comment down below. And let me know how do y'all feel about Solo being the one 
to pin Roman Reigns since his return. How do y'all feel about that? Are you guys okay with Solo being the one to do it? Or do you guys feel like it shouldn't have been Solo? Maybe it should have been someone else. The only other person that could have did it was Jacob. But I, I think that's a little bit too soon. But maybe some of y'all feel like Jacob should have been the one to do it. Or maybe someone else should have ate the pin from the OG bloodline. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Comment down below. But I appreciate all love support. Road 2. 150k. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See y'all next one. Peace.